beat a bayonetta, guys. It's it's a sight to see. Let, let's let's see it for ourselves right here. Oh, it's Pocky just being very stationary right there. Going in, trying to find an opening. A nice down smash from uh, Pound Cake, getting some good damage on Captain L. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Oh, wow. When I say wow, the, my, the volume goes way up. Uh, that's my bad. In any case, that was a good spike from Pound Cake. Very well done. Getting it early. Yeah, I know, right? I know, I know right? This is just. Oh. Pound Cake just taking a huge lead on. Captain Bell's Bayonetta. Oh, wow. Right now, Captain L at kill percent. If he gets caught with a sweet spot sure you can, that is the end for him. But Captain L just trying to trying to be as you know as hard to get as possible. Storing airs. Oh, and there goes. Not gonna get oh, here we go. And that's it. Yeah, that's that's a kill setup right there. <laughs> and some some nice uh, some nice uh, step dashes from from uh, Bayo, like an alligator. All he needs is just one good one good uh, tilt in there, and he, if he gets like a sweet spot where you can, Pound Cake can't can take this round. Oh wow! Just catching him with a forward smash. Pound Cake taking round one against the uh, PR number two. Yeah, Pound Cake's been doing doing very well lately. He's just he's just getting better and better. And I am I fear I fear the man who crosses his path and has to feel the wrath of his Ryu. I really do. All right, so moving on to round two. Captain is still sticking with the Bayo. A good throw combo from Captain L, getting a nice 31% on Pound Cake. Right now he's, he's a little bit more prepared in what Pound Cake is doing. Ooh, good good combo from uh, Captain Captain L right there. He really uses those uh, those double yeah like those those uh, double witch twists very well. I should really, I should really watch him play and learn, learn for myself. <laughs> oh, gets caught with a focus punch. Right now, Captain L taking taking the lead this time on this round. Barely missing that forwards. Oh, and a nice catch with that witch twist to an up up air. Alright. Punky just getting some good damage on uh, Captain L. Fighting yep, and gets this is that a nope. Either that was not a sweet spot or that was just a regular shore you could I I wouldn't know. I need I mean I probably should probably try picking up Ryu and fight figuring it out for myself. Anyways, uh, catching with that. Oh, trying to catch him with that air dodge right there, but Pound Cake just barely avoiding that fist. A nice back air, a little bit far away from the side, so not enough to take out Captain L. And there we go, a sweet spot shore. You can end ending a stock for Captain L. Right, Captain L putting some good damage on Pound Cake. Oh. And that's it. Yep, that's that's a ladder combo right there. Very nicely done from Cap Captain L. Having, I believe that was two ladder combos in one round. That was pretty impressive. B believe me, those ladder combos, while they do seem pretty flowcharty and simple, in in a sense, I mean there there is uh, quite quite amount of how do I say it, chance and skill involved in that. Believe me, it's a lot harder than it looks. Well, a little bit harder. It depends on it depends on who you're fighting. Oh, 
Oh, wow, Pound Geek. That was a really good follow-up with a forward smash. Beautifully done. So one thing about this matchup that makes uh, a little bit more difficult for Ryu is his Focus Punch. Focus Punch only really just takes one hit, but Bayonetta can work around that really easily. For one thing, her Witch Twist, which is the most obvious one, but also her held attacks, even like the bullets that come out of it that don't, you know, that don't put him in hit stun, they still actually do uh, proc, proc the invincibility of Focus Punch. So all I do is just, just poke him a little bit with the bullets and go in for like an aerial and he gets caught in a combo. I know, it's, it's just, it's just pretty, it's pretty BS, to, to be fair. But a good spike from Captain L right there. Oh, right. Nicely done for Pounding. Catching with a force, matching a night, getting a nice trade. All right. Wow, some good aerial comps from Captain L. Keeping Pounding up in the air with the with that uh, double double witch twist. Wow. You know these combo starters are something that I never that. I personally never need, never use because I'm I'm not good I'm not good at the game. But Captain L is like getting those back airs to those drop down drop down up airs. Just I have to say that's just beautiful. It's just amazing. Alright, he's jumping over that Hadoken, getting some good damage with that with, with the spinning air. Oh, and there it goes. Which <laughs> which time? Captain L taking this uh, the third game. I love Captain L's Bayonetta. It's it's a thing of beauty. All right, so moving on to uh, let's see, round four, I believe. It, the score is at two one, Captain L's favor. Moving on to final destination. So I feel like why Pound Geek's using this stage is because Bayonetta's have less options when in combos on the stage. However. Um, I feel like Punky probably might be, might have, I don't know, that's just my personal opinion, but I feel like Punky probably would have benefited more with a stage with platforms, maybe. But in any case, uh, I judge Pancake's, uh judgment because he is a better player than I am. <laughs> Alright, he's getting nice catch on that landing. That's, uh, that side being just nice catch. And pretending him really up high, but Punky, good DI, he's dodging out of that combo. Punk kick at 100, 107%, but that rage may work to his favor. Nice shotgun nets. Oh, just, just getting hit out of the focus punch right there. Has to get back really safely. Oh, no. Captain L probably going for a nair there. If he did go for a nair, that probably would have killed. Another shotgun nets punching him for that missed Hadoken. Pancake just standing his ground right there as Captain L dances all over him. Captain L just trying to find a kill kill combo here, but right, but this percent is a little bit too high for such things. Oh, and a nice full rage, sure you can at 75% taking a stock on Captain L. Pancake may still live to see another day. Down throw, not enough to kill on the stage. Ryu is pretty heavy. Those muscles just ain't for show, you know. Oh, good job of that focus punch, just avoiding a killing blow. Oh, and a good power through that back air with a short you can. From what I know, Pound Cake told me that was six frames of invincibility right at the startup. Oh, but th that down throw will definitely end the stock right there. Oh, good job on Pongi shielding it, but unfortunately there was a poke right there that pushed that pushed him out of it. All right, this is a bad position for Pound Kick. Can he get out? Yes, he does. Oh, so very close to getting a spike on Captain L. Oh, and yeah, that's it. It's a du double witch twist to an up air. 
Well played from Capanel and from uh, from Poundcake too. 